All right, you guys, I'm ready to DIY paint our RV. This could either turn out awesome or very, very bad, but I don't think it could look any worse than it does now. So that's why it's motivating me to paint it. Um, never used a paint sprayer before. Gonna try this out for the first time. Gonna need some luck here. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Honey, we're not like the other. No reason to be. So I have already pressure washed this taped off the windows, taped off anything I didn't want paint to get on. There's a couple things I still need to tape. And then um, I'm gonna start painting. I have this ladder, hopefully I don't fall. And the sides were already pretty rough. I think there's one shiny spot down on the end that I'm gonna sand. And then it's go time. Whew, I'm nervous. Don't wanna play games up with the moves. Don't wanna meditate, girl. Thank you for helping me. So I've decided um, spraying the RV is much harder than I realized and you need two people. Just, I mean, I, you could do it by yourself. It's just kind of stressful. So Kels is helping me. We got this side pretty much done. So it is now, I think, completed. So basically painting with a paint sprayer has been a way bigger challenge than I thought. After you get the hang of it, it's great. It goes really fast, but this was my first thing ever painting with a paint sprayer so there's there's like dark spots i don't know what that's all about it literally looks like a different color of paint and um there's definitely some drips not too bad and it's not perfect but it looks way better than what it did before um we're not gonna take off the window things just yet just because I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do a whole nother coat to even out all of those dark spots. Um, so we'll see when I wake up, but it literally looks like a different color, which is crazy. I don't know why this is so bold. Um, but yeah, it looks like two different colors and this was the same paint. So I don't know what happened there. I'm sure I can just do a whole nother coat. It's even like smoother texture which is weird I don't know um, so yeah no big reveal yet because I really want to keep those window things on to make sure that it's actually finished we also did the back which came out pretty good it's thin and a little bit I can see like a little bit of thin spots so this needs one more coat, but so far so good. Really like how it came out. But yeah, we also um, need to do the accent colors. We haven't decided if we're gonna paint the cab. I think we're going to, um, just seeing it right now, like under the plastic, it looks kind of weird having like a brown cab and then the colors are gonna be different for the back. So we're definitely gonna do some accents on the bottom. The door is gonna be painted another color. Um, but yeah, I really like how it looks. Even though there are like the little mess ups, I really like the, I don't know how more how much more modern it is. So it doesn't look any worse than it did. I wanted to give you an update on how it went with the kids sharing a room. So <laughs> um, if you happen to see it, we actually uploaded just the Nest Cam footage. Um, and I wrote a comment before they were turned off like YouTube likes to do. Um, I wrote a comment about how, well, hopefully this gives you some insight on how the first night went since we accidentally uploaded the wrong video. Um, but it wasn't terrible. The funny thing is, is like we talked and talked and talked through the whole situation with Junie and she had like, 
she knew like all the expectations and what she should and shouldn't do um, and she basically did everything she was not supposed to do so like some of the things were um, stay in your bed don't play with your toys don't go over to table don't give him toys and like immediately the first thing he did she did was like she could I put her into bed and as soon as I leave I see her like get out immediately gives Tabor a toy then gives him another toy um, and just I don't know it was actually really cute it was fine it was really cute because she loves to sleep with a bed full of toys so I know she just wanted to give him a toy um, and wanted to take care of him so it was really sweet but they did okay Tabor slept through all of Junie's plane washed before she went to bed so that was really good um the hard part was Tabor woke up at like three to nurse um and Junie woke up when that happened and it was a lot to get her to go back down so I think we were up for like an hour and when it's 3 a.m it feels like forever and you feel like you got no sleep so we were all pretty tired the next day um but then the following night so last night it went really really well and I was super impressed Junie we had like another long chat and it was basically like bedtime means you're in bed and we haven't been super strict with that lately we've kind of let her have like quiet playtime in her room and then put herself to sleep but now it's like okay you're sharing a room bedtime means you're in bed so she was so good she stayed in bed and all she did was play with the toys she had in her bed and read stories in her bed she wasn't up and about giving things to Tabor or anything um, and I was so so proud of her and then Tabor woke up a couple times um, and she just slept through it so I don't know why I'm looking I'm like looking I'm not I'm yeah anyways um so <laughs> Uh, she slept through it and that was so so awesome so exciting and then they were the cutest this morning uh, Tabor slept till morning time after his last nursing and They like kind of played together. They were Obnoxiously loud together, but they kind of played and it was so so cute um, And I was really excited about that. But so yeah, that's the update is going pretty well. I hope um, it'll just continue to get better. I'm sure there will be ups and downs, especially with um, just like Tabor going through developmental things and having sleep regressions and all that stuff. I'm sure we'll still have to like deal with rough patches, but I'm really excited that they're sharing a room and I'm really excited to have my own room back. Corbin and I have our own room back. Um, it's been eight months, so it's really nice to have our own room back. Um, yeah. So a thumbs up for that and a thumbs up for the paint. It is so exciting. I had a lot of fun helping Corbin for the second round and it looks pretty good. I'm really, really excited about it. Thumbs up for that and we'll see you guys in our next video. Be rear feeders.